the three uh, three companies are ResMed, uh, Corporate Travel Management, and also Worley Parsons. So they're all different, um, but they're all you know in my top ten at the moment. So ResMed is a great business. So again, viability, sustainability, credibility for me is very important. So ROE of ResMed's in the twenties. Um, the great thing about ResMed and that. Um, industry is that you can fit the number of players on the palm of your hand. That's very important for me when you're dealing with high quality businesses. So there are only three, you know, large operators um, in that space that they have, which is the air humidification uh, market. So that is an environment which is, again, the viability is quite high and the sustainability is quite high. Strong cash generator, high returns, uh, long duration management, well-established businesses um, in Europe and the US, uh, innovative through Bright Tree um, technology. So they are, you know, a really interesting play. Um, and I do really like, um, really like that one. Corporate travel management is different. It's a software business. So it's, again, I like that because it's been set up by a founder, which is uh, Jamie Ferros. Um, and he's still there, owns 20% of the business, uh, high returning business, good viability, good sustainability, long duration, strong with their clients, think about their clients. And their job, their job in the world is to make uh, or help clients use their travel budget more effectively. Um, that's, you know, costs of travel, taxis and all other travel expenses. Um, and that's very, very smart. Um, and credibility size, you know, the account, account, accounting's very good. Um, Jamie's there, so the founder's obviously very engaged and very interested with it as a 20% stakeholder. So those three pillars are, again, very strong. Wallies is cyclical. Again, one where we bought it around $7, and now it's at about $18. So it has gone through this via, uh, value transition and then uh, momentum category, uh, or that journey. And it is definitely in that momentum category at the moment. Um, so when it was in value, it had debt problems, um, working capital problems. The oil market was very low. Oil was at $30 or $40. So the number of jobs and CapEx was very low. So there was a lot of concern over Wally. And then from that level, it got up to sort of $7 where I got interested, where there was cost-cutting programs in place. Oil had gone back up to $40 or $50. Um, and that's where it had started to get better. Viability, sustainability were definitely improving. Um, and now you're at that point where you're at the momentum point where viability is high, earnings are going up, costs are going down, leverage is improving, the debt um, balance has gone down, working capital is improving, and the number of capex jobs that are being announced by IOCs and NOCs, um, as well as the resources sector, is all you know coming out as positive and upward. So that is a great, in a typical VTM cyclical triangle. Um, journey and that has been you know one that I like and one that again has a founder involved John Grill um, has been there a very long time um, and founder businesses obviously you know much better than executive driven businesses um, and these have been you know built over 10 15 or 20 years um, and I find that especially in mid and small caps when you have a founder who spent you know their majority of the professional life on one idea it tends to be a good one and they tend to put all of their energy into it. Um, so it tends to be a really, you know, a much better outcome. Um, and all of those businesses, you know, ResMed, Corporate Travel and Worley, there are founders involved um, intrinsically right deeply inside the business. Any advice in this video is general advice prepared by Morningstar without reference to your financial objectives, situation or needs. You should consider the advice in light of these matters and any relevant product disclosure statement before making any decision to invest.